McMaster's State of the State Address. For nearly an hour this evening, the governor touched on things that he hopes to see accomplished by lawmakers this year. McMaster talked about familiar issues, more money for teachers, additional dollars for our state's infrastructure, and educating our state's workforce. But something new tonight when it comes to jobs. The governor talked about unions, saying they're not needed in the state of South Carolina. Let's talk about unions for a moment. One thing we do not need is more labor unions in South Carolina. We've gotten where we are without them, and we do not need them now. We are a right to work state, and we will not allow the Biden administration's vigorous pro-union policies to chip away at South Carolina's sovereign interests. We will fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we will fight all the way to the gates of hell, and we will win this battle. Well, tonight, lawmakers are reacting to what the governor had to say this evening. Our Becky Buds was at the State House tonight, and she's got Republicans and Democrats sounding off. The governor's speech outlined key initiatives impacting the state's economy, education, infrastructure, and public safety. Well, I, I was very impressed. I thought he said a lot of good things, a lot of promising things for the state of South Carolina. In his seventh State of the State address, Governor Henry McMaster laid out his outlook for the year ahead. In the 45-minute speech, McMaster celebrated the state's record population growth in economic investment. He suggested speeding up income tax cuts, fixing the state's aging bridges, raising starting teacher salaries, and boosting the state's workforce development. And I can see us going down the right road for job uh, and economic uh, growth. And so overall, I'm pleased with some of the investments that he's making. Those are things that I think everybody should be able to get on board with. The governor received a standing ovation for blasting labor unions. I think we'll see some changes as, as it progresses where you won't find uh, a lot of people as enthusiastic about the idea and want to make everything fair for workers uh, going forward. The governor once again called on lawmakers to change how the state elects its judges and to create harsher penalties for illegal gun possession. So important in South Carolina to do that because we have had so many shootings among each other, then they get back out on bond and they do it again. It's the same people over and over and over again. However, some Democrats say there was a lot left unsaid. We still um, fail to recognize that we have so many citizens in South Carolina that are living in poverty. And so how are we going to address uh, rising all boats? With it being the second half of the legislative session, lawmakers have about four months to accomplish all of the governor's goals. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. Well, the governor talking for nearly an hour tonight, and if you missed the governor's remarks, you'd like to see them. We have the entire State of the State address posted for you tonight on our website. Simply go to WLTX.com.